do a bunch of little off -tops. Animal Crossing New Leaf is the fourth installment of this series. It is a series of live simulation games created by Nintendo in which you move into a town and interact with a bunch of friendly animals. In this new game, you become the mayor of a town of which you can name. With your new power, you can customize your village to your heart's desire. You do this through ordinances and public works projects. Ordinances help guide your town along a certain path, while you work together with your villagers to complete public works projects. When you first move into town, you are greeted by a small group of villagers and a dog named Isabel. Isabel guides you to town hall where you are faced with the dilemma of getting a house. You can't do anything until you do that. The villager Tom Nook is able to build you a house, but he won't do it until you bring him 10,000 bells. Well, sell fruit to buy a fishing rod or net so you can catch bugs or fish. Until then, you have to live in a tent. Once you have your house built and you gain approval from the town's citizens, you're ready to go. Afterwards, you can go to Town Hall and ask Isabel about Public Works projects. These are fiscal changes to the town such as upgrading existing buildings or by placing landmarks and features around the town or on Main Street. Later in the game, you can go to the Town Hall and talk with Isabel to discuss ordinances and Public Works projects. Ordinances cost 20,000 bells to enact, but they are necessary to forming your town. There are four ordinances to choose from. Early Bird Ordinance, Night Owl Ordinance, the Wealthy Town Ordinance, and the Beautiful Town Ordinance. If you haven't already figured it out, the main point of the game is customization and growth of your town and house. You are able to customize your house with a variety of different furniture pieces you are also able to give animals special catchphrases and get and be given special nicknames that you can create. You can create your own town flag and give your town a special tune. There are even certain public works projects that you can customize. This game looks extremely good. I mean, it's a Nintendo 3DS game made by Nintendo. I'd be surprised if it didn't. My first few hours, I was blown away by the detail they put into it. All of the little things have the most detail possible for the 3DS and it looks completely different than most other 3DS games. I mean, lots of other Nintendo's 3DS games share a consistent look, which, while looking nice, can get boring after a while. This is completely different. All of this means that the game doesn't really have a proper story and therefore ending. You aren't really forced to do anything to beat the game, which could be a positive or negative depending on your tastes. If you mainly like action, this might not be for you, but you should at least try it out before making a judgement, just like I did. And this is T-Stark signing out until next time. Bye-bye.